wake it welcome to day 18 it's 10 past 8 i'm just getting ready to do the school run we're going to set off in about 15 minutes but it is frosty outside look the seasons are finally changing yay good morning good morning welcome to day 18 yep 18 days it is school run time monday morning Scars are out because you know it's cold. Yeah. We're feeling no, it's not cold. It's not cold. Um, so yeah, plans for today. Ah, oh. uh, we have got a Zoom meeting this morning. Yeah. And Jake's going to college. He's got to go down to Birmingham. Birmingham. Do a week's college for his job. And then. And then Danny's going to wait on me hand and foot. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> nice try though, I like that, I like the, I like the try. Uh, but yeah, so that's maybe how plans to so. say. My plans are, I'm just going to be chilling for Monday morning. Um, and then some yarny stuff, but you don't need to know at the moment of time. He's <laughs> dying to tell you really. I am. Uh, but yeah, so... Well, you think it's the Sainsbury's as well. Oh, I'm going to Sainsbury's as well. We've so, run out of toothpaste. Huh? We've run out of toothpaste. Ah, toothpaste. So, yeah, so we will obviously catch you later. Uh, thank you very much for the comments. My words are properly this time. <laughs> I'm not jumbling them up. And... Hey, Finn, say hi. Hi. And... <laughs> And we'll see you in a bit. And we'll see you in a bit. So. That man's just then got knocked down. Oh, right did you kill someone? Oops. It was, oh, was it with that car in front? <laughs> Not to put that on the vlog. <laughs> the car in front was pulling into a parking space as a man was walking across the road. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. Bye. Bye. It's uh, one o'clock. I'm just heating up some stew from yesterday to have for my dinner. Just had a lovely Zoom call with my friend Nicola, which was really nice. So I'm gonna have this lunch and then it's absolutely pouring down outside. I'm gonna get wet this afternoon. Let the stew, you can eat it. So I'm just going to have this, which needs stirring. So I'm just going to have this, make a coffee. I've had a lovely, lovely Zoom chat with my friend Nicola. We tend to Zoom on a Monday and it's really, really lovely. So I'm going to have this, have my coffee, maybe work a little bit on the sale and sweater this afternoon. Um, and I've managed to get cleaned up this morning, so I'm one step ahead of the game today. It's really raining outside though, it's properly pouring it down. I'm going to get all my candles out this afternoon. I don't tend to use them so much in the winter. So, in the summer, sorry. <clears throat> so I want to get all my candles out this afternoon and get all them set up so I can start lighting them on the night time. And then hopefully, a nice relaxed day. So I'll see you then. So it's now four o'clock and I'm back from the school run. Um, I'm just looking in this cupboard up here. That one full of junk. Because I'm looking for my drawing pad. I mentioned it on my podcast a few, a few podcasts ago. It's totally vanished. So I'm going to see if I can find it in this cupboard. I haven't found it yet, but I have got distracted by... Found this... This is a picture I used to have up ages ago. I think my sister bought me this. And... Jack, Jack. I also found... This, which I've been looking for for ages. This is a really old copy of the Lancashire Witches. 
and put this somewhere safe and I couldn't remember where that safe place was so I found that <laughs> and I found these that's a picture of Josh when he was a baby and this is my mum she had this taken before she moved out to Greece she used to go on holiday all the time and she took this picture because it's called Restaurant Alex that's her pointing up at it there bless her also found bubbles I knew I had some more bubbles somewhere my skipping rope that doesn't crash into everything when you use it still can't find it I've been looking for half an hour and it's totally disappeared Jack. No, still not found it. God knows where it's gone. I haven't a clue where it is. It'll turn up when I'm least expecting it. So, we have just put an order in for yum, yay. If you can hear that noise in the background, it's the coffee machine. I'm having a coffee. So, we've just put an order in for yarn. I think it may be towards the end of the week before it's here because some of the yarn's still in transit but it's been our biggest order yet yeah, I'm so excited we've got minis coming yay um, yeah it's been a bit of a challenge ordering yarn because our Etsy um, shop has been on a reserve because it's been a new shop so they've been holding 75% of each sale up for 90 days and they've just released all that today and removed the, account, the reserve off the account so we can finally order yarn again. So, looking forward to that coming. And right now I am still looking for... I wonder if it's up there. One second. Sat down now. No, still can't find it. It'll turn up at some point. So, I am just... What time is it? Nearly half past four. I'm just going to have a coffee. I see you've moved, Stewie. Look. Look, you can see he's so tired. He's not moved all day long. He keeps going to sleep on my project bags. Such a little monkey. Never mind. So I need to go on to the last podcast and write down all the comments from the last podcast for the giveaway, which I'll do tonight, I think. Finlay's just scored a goal on his game, so he's clapping in the background. So yeah, I'm going to write all the comments down tonight. It's alright, darling. Nine goals. Well done. He's had a good day at school. Oh, you didn't go right fast, Stu. Are you going to curl up again and go to sleep? <coughs> nope, he's run off. So, yeah, I need I'm to do that tonight. I'm really struggling not to cast on the weekender. I do not need a second jumper on the needles. So, I went through all my patterns and I've come across my fit, which is this one. This is the Show Is Your Scraps Fingerless Mitts by Laura Bales. Now, I've made these a few times, um, but I've never made the scrappy version. Sorry, I'm rocking the camera. You'll have to excuse all the state. I'm in the bedroom. This is my yarny corner here. Oh, and look. I have not touched the advent calendar. This is the advent calendar from Green Lampkin Yarns. I've been so good and not opened it, not peaked. <clears throat> What was I saying? So I've never made the scrappy version of these mitts at all. Um, I just want something where I've got a bit of satisfaction because all the projects I've got on now, apart from a couple of pairs of socks, and I'm kind of socked out at the moment, if I'm honest, all the projects I've got going on are big projects. Shall I move you there so I can see you properly? Oh, that's better. Yeah, so all the projects I've got at the moment are big projects. So I need something smaller. So this is the pattern by Laura Bales. And this is the Show Is Your Scraps Mitts. It's a fantastic pattern and I've made it twice now. But I've never made the scrappy version. So I've just got all my little scraps out. 
I've got more in here, look. I've got so many scraps, so many scraps. And I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine stripes. You see, for these scrappy mitts, you only need, oops, let me hold it up properly. You only need five grams for each stripe. And I've got all these as well. I just need a project at the moment that is going to give me a bit of instant satisfaction. I've got the, the Salem sweater on the go. I've got two huge blankets on the go. I've got Danny's cowl on the go. And this is where usually I would like socks because you get something finished. But I'm all socked out. I've still got two pairs of socks left to make. And I just don't want to knit on any of them at the moment. So I think I may cast these on. Sorry I got cut off there. I got a phone call when I was mid-recording a vlog. How rude. It was just Jake. He's gone down to Telford this week for his college course. Jake's an apprentice mechanic. And every so often he has to go down to Telford and stay down there and do a week's college course. So I do panic when he goes down. He's 20 years old and he's more than capable of driving down to Telford and back. But I just I like to know when he's home. So that was just Jake letting me know he got there. Although, bless him, they've not got a hotel room for him. I'm sure it'll get sorted out. Otherwise, he'll be driving back all in one day. Bless him. <laughs> so I have cast on the Laura Bales Show Us Your Scraps mitts. And I've got a Zoom call tonight at 8 o'clock, which I'm going to try and make. But my phone is really flat at the moment. So unless I can charge my phone up, I won't be doing any Zoom I spoke to my friend Nicola about this earlier because she was she uses Zoom on a laptop and we were talking about it. And um, I was saying that I tried to download the Zoom app today on the laptop, but for some reason he had to pay for it. Well, it's free on my phone, so I don't want to pay for it on the laptop. And uh, I've got another Zoom meeting tomorrow for parents' evening. So she said to me, you're going to have to make sure you get this Zoom sorted out on your laptop, Alex. Sit and do it this afternoon while it's quiet. I haven't done it. So unless I can figure out how to get Zoom on the laptop, I need to get this phone charged. So yes, I should stop saying sh so yes all the time. It's actually, what time is it? It's 25 past seven now. Um, tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? I've got a business mentor meeting tomorrow for my yarny corner stuff. Um, that's at 11 o'clock in the morning. I've got parents evening tomorrow night, which is also over Zoom, which is really handy at the moment. Because, you, as you know, we live... It's not... We only live five miles from Finn's school. Well, no, if you had... It's five miles to Otley, and then another couple of miles up to his school. So seven miles from his school, but it's just traffic that takes such a long time getting there and back. And usually his parents evening is something like four o'clock or half past four, so... There's no point in coming home through all the traffic just to go back again. So while it's been over Zoom during COVID, it's been really handy. But that's tomorrow night, so I need to get that Zoom app sorted out. And I think that is everything for tomorrow. Danny's feeling much better. Thank you all for the kind comments about Danny. He is feeling much better now. It was just a little, a little cold. Don't tell him I said that because he's convinced it's man flu, and man flu is the worst thing ever. So... Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Look at the state of that breakfast bar behind me. Do you know how many times I clean everything off there and then it just gets filled again with stuff? Oh, Jake's got a new girlfriend. I met her the other day. She's really sweet. So that's really nice. Um, yeah. So I think he's met the parents already. How exciting, how exciting. I had to come in the kitchen because I can't hear myself in the lounge. Finlay is on the Xbox, Danny's on the PlayStation. So I can't hear myself speak in the lounge. Hey, up here comes Luigi. Straight in front of the camera. Hello. Thank you, Lugs. He's annoyed at me. <laughs> He didn't have his regular biscuits in Sainsbury's this morning, so he's got Sainsbury's own biscuits and he's not happy about it. So I think that's everything for today. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely 
day 18 of October, Vlogtober. And I hope that you're all having a lovely day, whatever you're doing. And thank you so much for joining me. And just thank you all for the such for the lovely comments that you're leaving. It's just lovely. When I decided to do Vlogtober, I honestly didn't think many people would watch. And you've all just watched every episode and been so lovely. So thank you very, very much for that. It's been brilliant. And it's been nice sharing other parts of my life so you can all get to know me a little bit more as well. Because when you do the podcast, you can't really. I always try and do the life updates at the end of it, but I always feel a bit like I've got nothing to talk about. So I'll definitely do Vlogmas as well. And I will be honest, it's got easier as the months, as the days have gone on through Vlogtober, it's got easier remembering to pick up the camera. I think at the start, I just thought, oh my God, what am I going to talk about? I don't do anything, but it has certainly got easier. So thank you very, very much for all your lovely comments and I shall see you again tomorrow for day It's me again. I just wanted to come on and just apologise for the last clip. I've just been sat editing it and I'm leaning on the work surface in the kitchen as I'm talking to you. And I do mess about when I'm leaning, I'm always moving around. And I didn't realise when I was filming it that I was sat with my hand like this. And it's just the way I was leaning, I kept playing with my chain, so my hand is just like this. And it looks really, really weird. Oh, hello, Polly. Okay, that's Polly. She clearly has something to say. Thank you, darling. Can you move? Polly. Come on, sweetheart. Good girl. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, so I did consider just refilming that bit, but that is me. <laughs> I did not even consider that I'd been sat, I mean, I'm sat like that, but as I've leant forward, it just looks like I've got a weird hand. <laughs> so I'm really sorry for that really bizarre thing. And even if you hadn't noticed it, you're going to go back and watch it again and you'll see. And then once you've noticed it, you can't do nothing but look at it. So, <laughs> I'll try this again. I apologise for the weird hand that I had sticking up during that. And I'm going to go because I think I've embarrassed myself enough. So I will see you tomorrow for day 19 and hopefully there'll be no weird floating hands. Bye-bye. <laughs>